Good day. Welcome to Jang Amor's channel, reserved for meaningful discussions. Today, I will be discussing encoding and decoding for my students since our classes were also affected by COVID-19. So enjoy and keep safe everyone. All discussions in this video are found in Chapter 8 of the book Mathematics in Modern World by Ethel Cecil Baldazar, which is our textbook, and some are referred from the book of Ofman. So what is a code? A code is a symbolic way to represent information. If you want to talk in secret with your friends, you usually name people with code names or have secret signs to mean entirely different things. You might even color code your notes to add gravity to each importance of the section or parts of your for your studies. Codes is not a recent invention. It has already existed for a thousand of years. Some of the codes we know of are the Egyptian hieroglyphics, the Greek alphabet, the Roman numerals, and recently we have the music scores since you have switched from the traditional, which is oral in nature, to the, these music sheets that are generated by musicians. The genetic code to know which traits you have inherited from your parents. The DNA or the deoxyribonucleic acid so you can now trace who your parents are. We also have codes which represents as identification numbers so that you can identify items, products, accounts, documents, and even people. So there are two types of ID numbers. So the first one is a numeric ID, which uses a string of digits. And the alphanumeric ID, which combines letters and numbers. Some identification numbers that we know of are the book ID number, known as the ISBN or the International Standard Book Number, which can be found at the back cover or the inside of the front cover. The UPC or the Universal Product Code. So no matter what language you use, Kellogg's or Lay's will always be Kellogg's or Lay's. The Avis Airline Tickets and National Rental Cars in the United States, which are coded according to their use. Also, the US Postal Money Order for verification purposes, so you will know if your postal money order is fake or not. Another way of reading identification numbers is through barcoding, since scanners are already a thing, and we have computers. So barcoding is first used by Joseph Wood Gums in 1974. So th thanks to Bubble Gums, we now have barcodes. Another thing, coding method, which I am sure you're all familiar with, is the QR coding with the advent of smartphones. We can go on and on and on, but you must end it here so that we can proceed to the next topic, which is the highlight of this discussion. So, slide 14. You ever wondered how your phone know that the password you slide or inputted is wrong? Or if you tried hacking your friend's FB account, you cannot seem to do it. And news how other famous hackers can land a job in the FBI or the NBI because they hacked the government's database. That, in there, in fact, is cryptography. One of the reasons why a lot of people enroll in IT or computer science and got disappointed because we were only thought web development or PHP encoding, which pays well and all, but it's not the cool stuff. Before I get carried right away, let's proceed to what is cryptography. Simple enough, it's just the process of making and breaking secret codes. So, once you, you have prepared a plain text message, say a password for your Facebook account, which states that Kagwapo sang crash ko 789 without spaces, then Facebook encrypts this message to a process called encryptions and turns this message into a cipher, cipher text and stores this in their database. If somebody tries to log in in your Facebook account and the cipher text does not match what was stored, they send an invalid password account or account name message. If it matches, then whoever is logging in can log in. But before, there are also apps that allows you to request for a password if you forgot what your password was. So in cases like this, the stored cipher text is converted back to a plain text through a process called decryption. So these are the terms that you have to remember. The plain text, which is the message that you prepared. The cipher text, which is now the coded message. And you have encryption from plain text to cipher, cipher text. And you have decryption from cipher text to plain text. So I think we are now a bit ready. The first crypto system that we will discuss is the Caesar cipher. 
Caesar cipher is named after Julius Caesar and he used to send messages to his army during his quest to conquer the world. Fun fact, today, the CSR cipher is used in kids' toys and all other coding systems that uses the same method are referred to actually as Caesar ciphers. The Caesar cipher is very easy to encrypt. So since it's very easy to encrypt, it's very easy also to decrypt. So to encrypt, we simply shift the letters three places forward. Then A, B, C, which was displaced, is appended after Z. So the letter starts with D and ends with C instead of A and Z. So to decrypt, you simply move the letters 23 times until A is A again, or you move it in reverse backward, three spaces. Or if you have a table like the one on screen, you simply substitute the plain text in the first row with the cipher text in the second row and vice versa to encrypt and decrypt respectively. For example, to encrypt my name is Captain Marvel, replace all M's with B, Y with B's, N's with Q, A's with S, E's with H, I's with L, S with V, C with F, P with S, T with W, R with U, V with Y, E with H, and L with O. So now, this is now how you read my name is Captain Marvel in Cesar Cipher. So you can try this with your own name. A second crypto system is called circular or cyclic coding. This system uses modular arithmetic and same as Cesar Cipher moves the letters forward after the number of placement is identified in a cyclic manner. So before we proceed to this one, a review of modular arithmetic is I think in order. So for those who are not familiar with the term modular arithmetic, modular arithmetic or simply modulo is the process of getting the whole number remainder when we divide a number, the dividend, with another number, the divisor. For example, 5 modulo 2 is 1, since 5 divided by 2 is equal to 2 remainder 1. 8 modulo 3 is 2, since 8 divided by 3 is 2 remainder 2. 75 modulo 3 is 0. Since 75 divided by 3 is 25 and you don't and we don't have a remainder. 54 modulo 67 is still 54 since 54 divided 67 is 0 and the remainder is still 54. In short, if a divisor is greater than the dividend, the remainder is still the dividend. Otherwise, you have to do Repetitive subtraction. For clarifications on this, please comment. Other examples. Applications. If it is April now, what month will it be 38 months from now? And hopefully by that time, it will be, you know, COVID-free. 38 is the dividend here, and 12 is the divisor, since there are 12 months in a year. So 38 modulo 12 is 2. Since 38 divided by 12 is equal to 3, remainder 2. So 38 months from now is June of 2023. Another one is, if today is Wednesday, what day will it be 47 days from now? 47 module 7 is equal to 5. Since 47 divided by 7 is equal to 6, remainder 5. So, if today is Wednesday, five days from now would be Sunday. Another trick I learned is when using your calculator, you simply divide the dividend by the divisor. Then, you view it in a decimal place. You subtract the whole number. Then, you multiply the remainder with the divisor so that you will, can get the whole number remainder. Or... You can subtract the divisor from the dividend until the answer becomes smaller than the divisor. Well, whatever floats your boat, you can do that. Back to circular coding. 
So using a modular arithmetic to locate the movement or displacement of the letters with this formula, C is equal to P plus M modulo 26, where C is the cipher text position, P, P is the plain text position, and M is the movement of your choice from 0 to 26. Let's encrypt my name is Captain Marvel again with M equals 10. And using the plain text equivalent starting with A equals 1 and ending with Z is equal to 26. You can refer to the table shown for plain text position number equivalent. Using the table as shown, you have A equals 1, so 1 plus 10 is equal to 11, modulo 26 is still 11. And according to the table, 11 is K, so A is now K. Then we have E is equal to 5, so 5 plus 10 is equal to 15, mod 26 is still 15, and 15 is O. S is equal to 19, 19 plus 10 is equal to 1029, mod 26 is 3. And 3 is C. And Y is equal to 25. So 25 plus 10 is equal to 35. Modulo 26 is equal to 9. And 9 is I. Or you simply count from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's K. Then you write K, L, M, N, and so on until Z. Then you append A after that one. And you should end with J for circular coding. Applying the Cesar cipher principle with A equals K, we now all list all the other letters and append A to J after Z. So with cyclic coding with M equals 10, my name is Captain Marvel, is now V, X, K, O, S, K, mixed K, D, Z, D, K, S, X, W, K, B, F, O, V. Use M as 16, or simply refer to the table you came up with. It's for clarifications, and this one, you can comment your questions. You can end the video here and skip to the last minutes for the practice activities, but if you want to learn about this animation cipher, you can watch on. So, this animation cipher is another crypto system that uses modular arithmetic and instead of addition, uses multiplication. To start, Assign the plain text position from A equal to 0 to Z equal to 25. Then, select any add integers between 3 and 25 as a multiplier with the exception of 13 which is a factor of 26. Using the formula C is equal to P times K mod 26 where C is the cipher text position, P is the plain text position, and K is the multiplier and add integer from 3 to 25 except for 13 and the table is shown to be used for your plain text reference. So again, let's encrypt my name is Captain Marvel using k is equal to 23. Say a is equal to 0. So 0 times 23 is equal to 0. So a is still a. e is equal to 4. So 4 times 23 is 92. Mod 26 is 14. And 14 according to our plain text reference is o. I is equal to 8. 8 times 23 is 184. Modulo 26 is equal to 2. And 2 is C. N is equal to 13. So 13 times 23 is 299. Mod 26 is still 13. So N is still N. L is equal to 11. 11 times 23 is 263. Mod 26 is 19. So L it now becomes D. In the end, we have the following encryption table with K in class 23 as shown in your screen. And my name is Captain Marvel is now Q G Naku Sai Wahva C N Kapot. Well, for each cipher text or crypto system, you have a different encrypted message for my name is Captain Marvel. To decrypt the designation cipher code, trial and error is used, or if the encryption value is known, its corresponding decryption value is used as multiplier, as shown in this table. Or you may refer to the table that we had computed. For my students, refer to the next parts for practice exercises. You may submit this, these practice exercises if you think that your grades needs improvement. If not, you can still practice for your exams. Activities. Write your name using CSR Cipher. Number two, write your favorite movie title using circular coding. You use your own M. Number three, 
write the following quote, I had come, I have seen, I will conquer, using this animation cipher, so use your own K. Good luck, I'm glad bless. Say when the COVID red alert is lifted, which will signal the start of your exams. So keep safe, everyone. This is Jeng Amor signing off. Graph.